any stage. So for this shiny, I'm gonna need you to recreate three mythical hybrid beasts, each of them some part horse. You'll have 30 seconds to connect two parts of the beast to make a Hippo Electron, Hippocampus, and Ona Centaur. All right, three, two, one, go! Okay. Oh my god. Okay, Hippo oh, Tour for sure. Oh, think this thing. Uh, this what, what, what? I don't know this the Ono part. Oh, uh, I might, I'm not Ono's married to it, but something like that. So and then back. the Ascentor um, um, is. Uh, uh, Hippocampus. Ascentor. Part of the brain. Oh, I don't know what. Oh, he's got. Electron. This guy. Five. Four. Oh no, he's Two. Oh, two oh, one. Stop. This one makes the most sense, I think. So everyone made a valiant attempt. Some of y'all remembered the hint I gave you, which is that they are some part horse. Yeah. And uh, that served me very well, Lindsay. I think if you remember <laughs> back part, to the work yeah. I did. <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing I don't know what a donkey or a horse is. Yeah. But it's all good because we're going to finally reveal. Already Ah. Have. Yeah. So we have the hip electron, which is the front part horse. Bottom part is a rooster. Hippocampus, which is like front part horse, bottom part fish. And then there's the on a centaur, which is basically just a centaur, except it doesn't have like four horse legs. It just has the back two legs of a horse. The front part is a human. Dante. Yeah. You got close enough for a, a few reasons. One on the on a centaur, that was the original front part you put, yeah. then it fell. Yeah. And you put the other one out of necessity. Right. So I was already going to give you a point I or a half point it. for that one. But then also for the hippocampus, you chose a dragon-like horse. Nice. That and so I felt like that was close enough. Okay. Also, Janet and Jack got none right. Not a single <laughs> so zero. That point will go to Dante. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Bring you. us to four for Dante, mm -hmm. two for Janet, four for Jack. So this brings us to our final question, which, as always, is based on a real life skill. Lost your voice after yelling too much on a dropout show? Don't panic. There are a few ways to help get it back quickly. The single best remedy is rest, so try not to speak and only whisper if you have to. Otherwise, humidifiers and breathing in steam can help moisten your vocal cords and gargling salt water can soothe inflammation. Um, actually, do not whisper. Whisper is the harshest, worst possible move. You are correct. That was the thing that's <laughs> wrong. You shouldn't whisper, yeah. but speak at a normal volume. Whispering pulls your vocal cords tight and causes extra strain. Speaking at your normal volume is better, but you should still rest. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to say, um, actually, the way it's written, it says, so try not to speak, and only whisper if you have to. If there isn't a statement saying mm -hmm. you shouldn't ever whisper unless you absolutely have mm -hmm. to, that is why I was like, well, it's not that, because you shouldn't whisper. My grammar was a little bit ambiguous. I think both of you can get a point for this. Oh, it's like, oh, it's like, I've already given out points now, here. Now, hold on. Um, actually, <laughs> let more it than go. a few ways. Let There's it go. There's more than a few ways. Let it go. Yeah, this list is let five it items long. That's There's more so than a many. few. There's this thing called <laughs> dragon blood. If you had dragon blood, oh. you had voice actors.